We received this question, do you have any tips for dealing with dizziness? Dizziness, also often described as lightheadedness, is a common symptom of anxiety caused stress. In an online poll we conducted, just over 86% of respondents said they had dizziness as an anxiety symptom. Most people don't like the dizziness anxiety symptom. I didn't. It was the one I struggled most with during my anxiety disorder. It came early and lasted until I was well down the recovery road. One of the reasons dizziness can be problematic is because anxiety-caused dizziness can trigger an instinctive stress response, meaning that the body can involuntarily react with a stress response the moment it senses you might be off balance and without you being anxious about dizziness. These automatic stress responses can be fast, strong, and seem uncontrollable. You can learn more about instinctive fears in the Rational Brain and Emotional Brain section in Chapter 14 in the Recovery Support area. To make matters worse, if you become anxious about feeling dizzy or the involuntary stress response, you can add second, third, and more fears and stress responses to what the body has already involuntarily started. This is why the anxiety symptom dizziness often fuels spirals of anxiousness and stress responses. Because instinctive stress responses can occur quickly and seemingly out of willful control, dizziness itself can keep the body stressed if you don't work to contain your reaction to the dizziness and the body's automatic stress response reaction. It took me some time to condition myself not to react to the dizziness and the stress response reaction with more fear. The better I contained my reaction, the more I recovered. As I recovered, dizziness became less and less intense until it eventually subsided. Thankfully, anxiety-caused dizziness does subside when you contain your reaction to it, as hyperstimulation diminishes, and as the body has sufficient time to return to normal, non-hyperstimulated health. So you can get rid of anxiety-caused dizziness with practice and perseverance. In the meantime, here are a few things to keep in mind as you work to eliminate hyperstimulation and dizziness. Dizziness is a common symptom of anxiety-caused hyperstimulation. Eliminating hyperstimulation will eliminate anxiety-caused dizziness. Your goal is not to eliminate dizziness, but to eliminate hyperstimulation. Anxiety-caused dizziness will subside when hyperstimulation is eliminated. Teach yourself to focus away from anxiety-caused dizziness. Once you have dizziness as a symptom, you can create the feeling just by looking for it. For instance, even when I was completely recovered, I'd often feel the sensation when I looked to see if I was dizzy. That's because when we aren't focused on it, the body manages balance automatically so we don't notice slight variations in balance. But you can notice them when you focus in and look to see if you're dizzy. Looking for dizziness will often create the dizziness sensation. Consequently, teach yourself to stop looking for it. You can use the decision intersection strategy we explain in Chapter 6 in the Recovery Support Area to help you do this. Containment you can teach yourself to stop looking for dizziness or any symptom using containment. If you are having difficulty with containment, I recommend connecting with one of our recommended therapists to help you learn that important skill. Containment stops anxious behavior and eliminates problems with anxiety and anxiety symptoms. It's a skill all anxious people need to master if you want lasting relief from anxiety disorder. Recovery support members can learn more about containment in Chapter 6. Stress Reduction since anxiety symptoms are symptoms of stress, reducing stress will reduce symptoms. Focusing on stress reduction can eliminate hyperstimulation and all its symptoms in time, including anxiety-caused dizziness. Increase rest. Rest reduces stress and stimulation. As stress and stimulation diminish, symptoms of hyperstimulation diminish. You can accelerate the recovery process by increasing rest. If you want to eliminate dizziness, increase your rest. However, don't be surprised if you notice your dizziness increase for a time as your body becomes more rested. This is also a common phenomenon for recovery and the dizziness symptom. Passive acceptance. Reacting to anxiety symptoms creates stress, which is counterproductive to recovery. Passively accepting your symptoms reduces stress, encouraging recovery and symptom elimination. Learning to passively accept your symptoms can also accelerate the recovery process by preventing unnecessary stress responses that so often stall recovery. Patience. 
Since recovering from hyperstimulation takes time, you need to be patient as your body recovers and eliminates symptoms. Being impatient and frustrated creates stress, which will interfere with the recovery process, causing symptoms to persist. If you aren't a patient person, now is the time to learn that important recovery skill. Time. It will take time for your recovery efforts to produce results. You have to do your recovery work up front before results can show up down the road. Expecting fast results will disappoint. Get used to being patient and giving your body ample time to recover. It will in time. And most often, much more time than you'd likely expect. This is normal for recovering from hyperstimulation. Recovering from hyperstimulation can take a long time because of all of the changes hyperstimulation causes in the body. Recovery support members can read the Hyperstimulation and its Effects section in Chapter 14 for the many ways hyperstimulation can affect the body. Dizziness often lifts slowly at first, then can suddenly disappear. While there is no one recovery experience, many people notice their dizziness lifts slowly as they work on their recovery, then suddenly stop. This was my experience as well. However, because each person is biologically, psychologically, and emotionally unique, recovery experiences can be unique, including how symptoms such as dizziness respond to your recovery efforts. Expect anything when recovering from hyperstimulation. Don't gauge your recovery by your symptoms. Recovery is not an observable linear process. You will have ups and downs with symptoms as your body recovers. That includes dizziness. It's common to have cloudy breaks when dizziness subsides for a while, then returns again for no reason. It's also common to get episodes of dizziness that are more severe than others and where it comes in waves. Your job is to float through the episodes in waves no matter their severity or duration and look forward to better days. Again, expect anything until the body completely recovers from hyperstimulation. Sometimes anxiety symptoms can feel the worse just before they completely clear off. As long as the body is hyperstimulated, even to a slight degree, it can behave erratically. Even so, continue to work on your recovery strategies until you are completely successful in eliminating anxiety and hyperstimulation. You can get there with determined effort and patience. You can visit our Anxiety Symptoms section for more information about anxiety-caused dizziness. The link is in the comments.